Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you for coming tonight, and we have a special treat. Yes, aside from Radio Mystery Comedy, we do have music with the cheese of Justice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. the next song. <laughs> Let's get serious a little bit here.
Okay, let's get on with the professional cabinet. Okay, so as you know, or maybe you don't know, how many of you have been to an MMT show? Raise your hand. No. Yeah. Fantastic. And who has not? Yeah. Welcome, welcome both. Please. So what we do is, yes, you are part of the show, and Josh. here it will uh, prompt you with, yes, cue cards. This is the only time I've been to the whole show. So, so I help. <laughs> to a marshmallow repair shop which exists primarily in the mind of a chicken named Francis X. Bushman. Any similarities to events, persons living or dead, are purely intentional. We go now to the year 2098 in a galaxy far, far, really far away. The spaceship X-13 commanded by Johnny Rocket. <laughs> space Commander. Way, way, <laughs> Way out there somewhere in space, Johnny Rocket and his space cadets encountered something very strange on the radar as they heard... Eerie space humming! What strange thing are you picking up on the radar, Cadet Winky? I think it's the professor's dad, Ruf. <laughs> What's strange about that? He's over 90 years old. Uh, Why are you picking it up? Life some dandruff must fall. Don't blame me, blame gravity. Don you, Isaac Newton! Please, <laughs> fellas, not what's on the radar screen, what's in the radar screen. Oh, take a peek. <sighs> Looks to be an uh, atmospheric, intergalactic, um, and dramatic, and, um... What, man? What? I'm sorry, Commander Rocket. That's all the space nonsense I know. However, there is one word that sums it up. That's it! <laughs> there you go. Commander <laughs> Rocket, if there is atmosphere on the unidentified sphere, there is bound to be whatever the hell that idiot Winky said. Thank you, Professor Nosehairs. According to the charts for the original mission of the lost X-15 module, Cadet Larry Liftoff's destination was 3.4 million light years. And if we beat Crosstown traffic, we can get there by five. Commander Rocket, I don't wish the fact that Larry... Cadet 
liftoff was my fiance to have any influence on your decision to go retrieve him, thus facing possible mortal peril in the attempt. Fiance? I thought you couldn't stand the sight of him. Well, do you see him anywhere? <clears throat> but that man has an account in my memory bank you wouldn't believe. I remember the last romantic interview we had. Flashback! Flashback! Larry! Where do you think you're going in that jetpack? Uh, it's a big world with a swirl that you step inside to another world. Really? Wait a second. That's from a Flash Gordon comic book. I know what you're up to. You're off for a few light years with your six space buddies. End of Flash Gordon back. End of Flash Gordon back. And I remember the last time I saw him. Or didn't see him. I'll never forget that day, night, afternoon. Flashback, flashback. Ten, nine, eight, bunch of numbers and blasting off. Uh, Commander Rocket, I don't mean to be a pest, but shouldn't we have taken a head count of the crew before blasting off from a cold, desolate planet? Don't see why. There's you, uh, me, the professor, uh, Doc, Janet, and... Uh, uh, well, you know what that means, Commander? What, Professor? The line for the dawn just got shorter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. my love life. End of flashback. End of flashback. Not too proud of that. B U double M E R. We do know he had a reserve jetpack to go another 50 million miles. In case anyone forgot what he looks like, we do have a picture of him on our travel mugs in the gift shop. That is a steal at low, low. Commander, I'm picking up communications from Earth. Roger, Cadet Planet, can you identify the contact? It's the president. The president? I'll take it. Winky, you take the wheel. Gosh, the president. Do my eyebrows look groovy? Yes! yes! Mr. President, sir, this is Johnny Rocket. <laughs> space Commander. It is an honor to report from our humble spacecraft to you, Mr. President. Well, thanks, pal. That, uh, that's hunky funky dory, but uh, we just need you to pay your dues. Who is this? Marty Korkenberger, president of the Downtown Badminton Club. What? How did you get this number? From your soon to be ex wife. How do you know my ex wife? Incidentally, groovy eyebrows, man. <laughs> How do you know my ex wife? Here, I put her on. He must be putting me on. How did he get the area code? Hey, Brenda, baby, it's your rocket jockey ex. Hey, Mr. Astro Big Shot, if you're not too busy flying around the universe with your stupid space buddies, how about making with the alimony? Alimony? The divorce isn't even final. Oh, yeah? Hey, Judge Bosco, Johnny's making waves. Tell him it's a done deal. It's a done deal. On what grounds? <laughs> you have a Miss Janet planet aboard the spaceship under you. Yes, on those grounds. Case closed. <laughs> Sci-fi! <laughs> Wait a second, did I just hear laughing in the background? That was the jury. We're having a swing at pool party. In the nude! Well, uh, I better get back to the sauna. Sauna! Sauna! It's me, Brenda. Don't bother fighting this thing, Johnny. Hey, we're running low on tequila! <laughs> Divorce party orgy at my church. <laughs> I gotta go, Brenda. I guess the wedding vows were just a suggestion. The checks in the mail. But I'm 60 billion light years away, so don't hold your breath. Why, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sir, I I'm picking up a non stellar mass. Perhaps a planet, sir. Perhaps Larry. A liftoff is on that planet. I don't know if I can take that chance, Janet. Well, according to my imagination, I'd say that planet is uh, planet Eris Assi. And I say there is no way I am changing our course. The planet is inhabited entirely by giant cocktail waitresses. <laughs> and that is... Now hear this, we are changing our course. <laughs> what is our distance reading? 
67.9 million light years. And if we take a shortcut? About five minutes. Hot puppies, prepare the landing gear. Hi, Captain. This could be a dangerous side trip, Johnny. This could be a dangerous side trip, Johnny. Professor, you and your 20th century ideals are stuck in mothballs. Our arterial motive mission is to explore uncharted plants, stick a flag in the soil, and call it ours. And with any luck at all, I can get a decent back rub and a martini. Possibly settle down with a nice green-blooded space alien who digs playing backgammon by the fire and running naked through car washes by moonlight. Okay, I'll settle for the backgammon. John, I thought you were going to wait for me. Wait? <clears throat> wait for what? Well, for us to look for my fiancé, Larry. Find him, fried by the dangerous and close proximity of the sun, make with the tears and moody piano records by the sea, get over him, toss Larry's ashes into the fish tank, and start cooking up some kisses by candlelight with a certain Johnny Rocket, who says it's all systems go in time for blast off? I'm sorry, Janet, but this whole future thing. The future of mankind is counting on us, Commander Rocket. What have those people in the future ever done for me? Commander, I was slightly off of my calculations to approach. How off? Oh, I don't know. Should be landing in about a now! <laughs> So if you don't mind... Where are you going, cadet? You know how people are always telling me to go screw myself? Yes. I thought I'd go and give it a try. <laughs> now hear this, now hear this. Prepare to embark on an uncharted planet. Janet, what's the overview on the planet? Planet Erosassi, volume 160,119,609 kilometers, radius 2,407 miles, surface area 6,201 square miles, population under. Export ping pong balls, fuzzy dice, and nose hops. Hobbies, pina colada, and getting caught in the rain. And they're into yoga and making love at midnight in the dooms of a. Commander Rocket! What is it, Dr. Pillows? It's a bill from the Jupiter Tuxedo Rental Shop. Astronomical! All right, who rented a power blue tux? I don't know. I don't know. I Hey, baby. No. You see, I was hoping to move the nuptials along if I... Where and when we find Larry! Let me get this straight, Cadet Planet. In the one in a million chance we find Cadet Liftoff, that he actually knows how to work a jetpack in a galaxy the size of Johnny's ego, you believe by presenting a rented tuxedo hit to him, he will be obligated to marry you? Oh, when do you see the honeymoon negligee? What do you think? It's made of oxygen. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Say, if Larry turns you down, You'd marry me? No, but good to know in case I run out of... She's, She's the, the only woman in the world to me. You mean if you run out of brill cream, head and shoulders, a vitalis like that? No, not hair supplies. Air supplies. Ah! Oh. 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 Approaching destination. <laughs> Descent mode activated. Countdown, cadet planet. Ten. Nine, eight, now! Now? Oh, I'm sorry. Seven, six, five, now! Is everyone all right? Oh. Yeah, I, think so. I, I suppose. suppose. That's probably. I think so, yeah. Look, John, there's a robot to greet us. A robot? <laughs> the nerve of those guys. Erosasu, the nerve of these guys can't even send an alien. Actually, technically, we're the aliens. And that's what makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. That and this darn spacesuit. Mine is made entirely out of the foil used in 73 TV dinners. And one man handler. <laughs> What's my future ex-wife got to do with your spacesuit? You're going to make your usual rah-rah speech, Commander Rocket? Aye. Exploration team, we are about to embark on a journey that could affect the future of mankind. Or at least Janet's wedding plans. <laughs> Sitcom <laughs> laugh track! <laughs> blah, 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 blah.
ship door open. Uh, Commander Rocket, the door, uh, it's stuck in sand. Double darn it, the ship is hit the sand. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to release the emergency exit. Yeah, uh, aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, yeah, I'll need yeah. to check for atmosphere and gravity before disembarking. Not for me. This divorce is wiping me out. I always have to make everything about you, Johnny. Oh, you mean check for the... Right, open emergency ship door. Aye, Commander! <laughs> Commander Rocket! This is Commander Rocket. To who am I speaking, please? It's me, Marty. Uh, say, you're out of, uh, cheese weenies. <laughs> <laughs> Terrain appears to be pink sand. Like if Barbie owned a planet, this is what it would look like. You hear that? That's the professor shouting! That can only mean one thing. He doesn't know how to use the communication device? Yeah. Two things. That this planet has oxygen in its atmosphere. And? Come on! He doesn't know how to use a communication device. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a green light on a pink planet, Commander. Yeah. That means my Larry could be alive here. Alive here with eat for two cocktail waitresses. Wait till I get my hands on that rocket, Romeo. Move out. Move out? Why should I move out? He is the one fooling around with the space skanks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll address the robot. Mr. Robot, I am Johnny Rocket. Space Commander. Losers, fools, creeps. Say what? The robot appears to suffer from Tourette's. And so do we. Agreed with Tourette's. That's like a polite wrestler. <laughs> I am identified as Rollover Robot. Warning, if you say take me to your leader, I will kick you in the gonads. Then... Janet, you say it. <laughs> take us to your leader. Why should I, dollface? How much did you speak the language of Earth? I am a robot. As a robot, I have the infinite capability to translate any and all languages of a galaxy. What about the language of love? Roll, baby. Oh, baby, I'm getting hot. <laughs> Too nice to roll in the head. Your big, hot hunk of tiles and stuff. <laughs> Gee, look! His head's starting to smoke! <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> hey, hey, when I was around seven, my dad took me to the big round top. And, and then the remaster came out. The elephant sat on him. Now, that was a short circus. Yeah. <laughs> Not circus. Circuits! Oh. Extraordinary! He's rebooting! <laughs> so many moonlight kisses. <laughs> Cool in the warmth of the sun. <laughs> Idiots, jerks, putts, follow me, earthlings. And so they did. The planet appeared to be made out of pink sugar. The crews led to a strange palace made out of glass and used party hats. And straight to the ruler, Queen Zaba Daba Do. Why have you invaded my perfect pink planet, Earth things? Your haziness. We are in search of... Fools! No, we have enough of those at home. We are on a rescue mission for Space Cadet Larry Liftoff. Hmm. Rescue, you say? I hardly think your Larry leads rescuing. Look, you please. We mean no harm. We only take for my little Larrykins to return to my loving arms. I know he is suffering from loneliness on your big cotton candy planet. Well, uh, not quite. Okay, maybe not cotton candy. I didn't mean the planet. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, stop, you naughty boy. <laughs> but I didn't get all the lint from your belly button, Zila, baby. And if I can't take care of your whittle belly welly, my name isn't... <laughs> Oh, look at our poor lovely space 
Uh, say, uh, when is the next flight out of here? <laughs> uh, Commander Rocket, P- Commander Planet, Professor, Doc, Winky, gee, I... Have your hands full with Miss Belly Button Lint. Wait till I get my hands on... Cadet lift off as your commander. I will need an update. He's been dating her up for about three weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't listen to that wise guy robot jetted, honey. I'm ready and raring to go home. He's been to first base with Zila and rounding home. <laughs> How does a robot know baseball? Gookie! Man! That gookie is! Larry, honey... Got some splendid to do. Me? How about you guys? Too lazy to take a head count? Leaving me on that planet out there in Nowheresville? Oh, boo-hoo. Looks like you're doing all right. Yeah, I, I know how this looks, but, but but I've been working my tail off. Doing what exactly? Doing what exactly? <laughs> I, 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 uh, I know. Uh, last week I had to... What? You, you repaired the straps of my nighty! There you go! <laughs> that poor cod in your zipper. <laughs> that sounds more like entertainment. Cod, all right. Gods. Enough of this petty earth banter. Take these humanoids to their quarters. Uh, thanks, your harness, but we really can't stay. I, I have a divorce in the oven. Uh, look at them guards! All eight feet of women! Wowza! I shall lead the way, fellow humanoids. I demand to see the space consultant, Queen, Queen Yabba Dabba Doo. Why? 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 Yes, why? I can tell you this. <laughs> Tell her, Janet. <laughs> tell her, tell her, why? Because we only wish to assure no harm will come to me. And you know the guy is something. <laughs> yeah, we better do what Queen Do says. She's awful powerful. All her giant cocktail waitress subjects are as scared of her as I'm shaking in their go-go space boots. You see, she has this laser ray that shoots out of that 1960s furniture crowd she wears that could turn a space cadet into Ash Wednesday. She wouldn't dare harm we handsome type all-American space cadets. We come in peace. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> nervous laugh, nervous laugh. Do not worry. Rollo will get you there safely, humanoids. Uh, yeah, w- wish you wouldn't call us that. I mean, sounds like what's something my Uncle Herb has. This instant, Rollo! You're so powerful and great leader of the universe and beyond. Lead the way. As instructed by the Queen, who is the fairest of them all. Well, I guess we know who programs you, Mr. Royal Sucker. Commander Johnny Rocket and his space cadets were led to a large cave made of old Star Trek sets. And from within emanated the strange, spooky green glow. <laughs> but the heavenly meeting us too, that strange green light looks like a certain club I used to frequent in Amsterdam. And a woman there could eat tuna pinwheels off her own back. Boy, would like to have seen that. Yes, so would I have. Hey, what? The game is pretty dark in there. Let me handle this, Professor. I know how to deal with these temperamental robot types. <laughs> Rollo, these uh, special super duper deluxe accommodations for my fellow crew members. Affirmative. Now, that would be pretty darn good time to check the atmosphere. Yeah, I'll check the g- uh, Gego uh, atmospherometer. Sure thing like that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, pick it up some potassium. I know. You do. Do what? No. No, I know. You don't know, but now you do. I know. So do I. So you do what? You know. I know. It's an element. <sighs> Evidently, an element of surprise. <laughs> This remark is identified as humor. Ha, ha, ha. (laughs) Proceed. A testy and lippy robot. Reminds me of someone. We must cooperate. Move out. Gosh, I'm all for the advancement of science and all that good shizzle, but I can't help but think 
If we go in that cave, we're going to end up like a bag of Martian French fries. Enter, I repeat, enter. It's a good chance there will be extreme danger. Screw your courage to the screen, please. <laughs> yeah, about three times a night. <laughs> Before we go in there, I just want you to know something. Uh, yes, darling, uh, 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 Cadet Planet? <laughs> My mother taught me to forgive and forget. That's mighty admirable. Well, if you think I forgive you, forget it! Enter the facility. Larry, are you smirking? Please observe the no smirking sign. <laughs> <laughs> mighty strange. I'm, I'm picking up a... The very same materials Barbie dolls are made of. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Look! The walls are opening! God oh, save the, the queen. queen! Kneel before the queen. Her again? How did she get here so fast? The twist queen zabba dabba doo This is her sister zabba dabba dee Hello, darlings. Welcome to my beautiful world at such... Fine-looking young man. Your, uh... Supreme ruler works. That's a bit much. Uh, don't you... Silence! Yeah, Queen kind of digs the whole groveling thing. I will not allow my impudence, this impudence in my chambers. Do you know where my sister, why your, my sister sent you to me, darlings? Speak. Uh, if it please, this is your uh, pigness. We we were supposed to get some R and R, you know, forty winks. You know, I, I know because I'm winky. You see, you get it? Is it winky? Uh, 40 of course, winks? I do yeah, not. Right, right. <laughs> Rolo, take them to their quarters. Don't worry, you won't have to tip him, darlings. Ha ha ha. I do not experience joviality when lack of payment is regarded as humor. <laughs> Rest up. But not you, Commander, darling. You will join me in my pink veranda. I mean, no disrespect, your queenness, but I really should stay with my... Is that a martini? Extra dry, shaken, not stirred. Okay, guys, get some Z's. I'm going to dive into some serious foreign diplomacy. <laughs> Come on, gang. I mean, Johnny's taking one for the tea. <laughs> Look into them. Funny. Getting kind of drowsy. Look into my soft sapphire eyes. It feels like I'm at a timeshare seminar. Meanwhile. <laughs> 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 These accommodations are hardly what I would call special super duper deluxe chambers. Yeah, I, I have a cousin, Frankie, who had a habit of writing other people's signatures on checks. He lives in a joint just like this. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't, no. You have been led down the garden path. I believe the earth term is suckers. Boy, I wish I had my set of tools. I... Turn you into an eight-track player! Goodbye. Adieu. Adios. A Venus schnitzel. I feel Queen's Baba Dabba D has nefarious intentions with Johnny's rocket. You do. I also have a fear of rodeo clowns stealing my toothbrush. Then, uh, double donate. If my Larry the Space Cadet is still missing... Yes! yes. And so concludes Act 1 in the case of the missing space cadet. Now let's hear this important message from Flexer and Frankel, the cheese adjustment people. Ladies and gentlemen, the palace theater is proud to present the Queen of Violets, Miss Gypsy Rosalia. You're on, honey. Oh, I don't know, Lulu. Those Flexer and Frankel well-adjusted cheese strips are better than any stripping I can do. The crowd's getting restless. They want you, Gypsy Rose Lee. Oh, sorry, little honey. I'm going to sit here in the dressing room and enjoy my flex yarn, Frank or Willie, just in cheese. Just chock full of gooey goodness. You give them what they want. You better put on this. Fancy. What is it? The famous gold bra worn by legendary stripper Erin O'Malley. You better hope that crowd is Irish. Why is that, Gypsy? Never heard of Aaron's gold bra? Mm -hmm. 
Paging Ryan Asbert to the stage, Ryan Asbert, your liver is wanted. Please. <laughs> Better than the alternative, Lively I think. Audience. <laughs> okay. We've tried that, trust me. <laughs> What are you going to do with them? Ladies and gentlemen, the cheese adjusting.
Thank you. Let's put a special hand for Lindsay Dominic. Yeah. Absorbed egomaniac, superficial putts. That's it, darling. <laughs> Meanwhile, the fearless crew is using their trained minds to scientifically speculate. Man, we're we'll never getting out of here. That's <laughs> what you call scientific speculation? No, that's what I call panic. Never gonna see if my boys will make it to another World Series. Hey, Larry, do you know if the Dodgers are still in second place? Second place? Where were they in the first place? Brooklyn! Come on, I know you're a Dodgers man. don't kid me! Dodger? Uh, English literature reference. No. Charles Dickens, uh, artful Dodger. Hey, what happened to the tattoo on your left arm that says Dodgers forever? Yeah. Duke is right. I'm afraid that this Larry is not Larry Liftoff, but rather a clone. Just like Baskin and Robin. How so? A nice clean clone. <laughs> Earth fools, you fell for the trap. Right down to duplicating the voice box. Evil laugh. Evil laugh. I was going to do the evil laugh, Rolo. From you, it sounds like one of those irritating Miami Beach Hotel elevator voices. You will now do your duty and... Self-destruct. Goodbye, cruel world. Activate self-destruct. Oh, that's two Larrys. I know who Peter out. <laughs> You'll never get away with this, you... heap of... Scrap iron! You... That means... My Larry, the real Larry, could be alive here. Alive here with eight foot tall cocktail waitresses. Would you like it? My hands on that space in a Casanova. I'll send it to the moon. Pow! Boom! Well, 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 take it easy, will you, Janet? Larry could be, you know, uh, well, you know, I. Could be what, Winky? I don't really want to say it. I, say uh, it. Living it up here with eight foot tall cocktail waitresses. <laughs> Thanks for the confirmation, oh. Oh, great. Oh, What was that? Well, I'm pissed. But I didn't say it. I mean, you know, I'm pissed. Earth peoples, look in the lamp, then clap. It's a telecommunication lamp. Ah. I've been working on one for years. But somehow, I only get some guy named Kevin in a lobster suit who lives with his mother. Okay, I'll clap. 
Video projection. Very 1980s. Hey, it's that giant waitress who was making intergalactic whoopee with Larry's clone. I am Zila. Second assistant to the assistant to the court. I can help you. I am a spy for the peaceful Zelians, but you must listen carefully. Why should you help us? Remember what I said, you must listen carefully? Uh, was that recently? I... Uh, I remember you talking, but I wasn't listening. Uh, <laughs> Lady Zeal, it's me. I mean, you mustn't be fooled by my faint affections for your contemporary. If the queen finds me communicating with you humans, I will be destroyed. Uh, which one? They are test tube twins. Whoa! <laughs> Tubular! Yeah! One is in charge of rottenness, and the other is in charge of evilness. You put them together, and they can really kill an afternoon martini buzz. Right now, Queen Zabadaba D has designs on your commander, Johnny Rocket. First to seduce him with her wicked charms, then mate with him, then have him exterminated. Yes! Gee, that was a crummy crimp in the comet, but what has happened to the other space kid and Larry? Larry Liftoff? Someone is coming. I am in danger. Wait a second. What about the real Larry? Someone is coming. This is not good. I must be brief. C-O-T-G-C. That is all the time I have to tell you what I know about the location. Although I probably could have estimated approximately... Where is he? The space cadet is Caesar. The space cadet is Caesar? You can barely get a goldfish to obey him. Ah, so, you know, we are I the Federation of Planets. Report away. Your Federation cannot help you now. There is nothing to see. We rejoin our regularly scheduled propaganda program. Say, friends, are you having those darned original thoughts? Been a while since your brain has had a good washing? Stay tuned, Erosians, in your sheep behaviors and await instructions on how and what to think. This is your Planet Network, Flox News. <laughs> Thank you. We have to get Johnny before he falls into the web of that evil queen, Zubby, 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 or Zubby, I don't know. You have a plan, Cadet Planet? Well, it's more of a sketchy idea. Uh -huh. Originally, it was a replica of a planet. Okay. But now, more as a... Winky, you're immature and devious. Oh, and probably a Shriner. You must have something sneaky up your spacesuit sleeve. Uh, I do. Oh, here comes that robot. This might be our ace in the hole. Dummy up! Humanoids! The Universe Federation Space In Convention Law requires that I inform you that you are entitled to food and water. You have food and water on this planet? No, the law only requires I inform you we have food and water, not that we have to give it to you. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. I demand... Chartle. I demand we see a Space Federation representative. Or a lawyer, if you have any. I don't think so. May a diseased yak marry your sister. <laughs> Rollo's programming includes late night television. There is something about that robot. We now break away with a word from our sponsor. Say, does your kitchen floor seem dull and listless? It's a kitchen floor. It's supposed to look like that. Are you unable to see your face in the dishes? Then take the dishes out of the dishwasher and look. Johnny Carson? Oh, idiot. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Space she devils have something evil in store. Meanwhile. Johnny Rocket, I have decided you shall marry me. Marry me? Isn't that rushing things a bit? It, it, it takes time to find out our little weaknesses. Not for me, it didn't. We haven't even had our first argument. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we. Well, I guess this qualifies. <laughs> 
You are forgetting. Is it against? It is against Space Federation Law three two five seven six eight seven nine eight five seven six bunch of numbers in paragraph twelve, section nine. It is forbidden for Erosians to marry humans. That law was made up by my evil uh, sister, Zaba Daba Doo. You are beautiful and tall. Be be able to reach that top shelf of the statue. I will ensure all your human needs are satisfied, all your food needs. And frankly, that Janet planet is as sharp as cheddar, but can be a bit possessive at times. Even if I consented to marry, who would perform the service? Cantaloupe? No thanks, gives me gas. <laughs> Running away to get married gives you gas? Cantaloupe. Oh, cantaloupe. <laughs> no, I am the captain. I can marry us. What am I talking about? I'm not even divorced yet. Uh, about that martini, <coughs> Meanwhile, the crew is being held against their will. Humans, us representatives of an imperialistic species exemplified by the Roman Empire, it is on our best interest to incarcerate you until we destroy you. Uh-huh. You appear to be unhappy with your life, Rolo the Robot. Define unhappy. Uh, an afternoon at the DMV. Hmm, define happy. Uh, endorphins, joy senses, appreciation for being you. Give yourself a hug. Interesting concept. Self-hug in process. Good, now keep going until you make yourself pregnant. Does not compute. Does not compute. Rollo the robot's electrons are turning into... Time to watch Jerry Springer. Moron! Let's get him while he's off guard. Listen... Robo Buddy, we, we know you like Robo Romance. How would you like to have real Hallmark greeting card human emotions? Get down and get funky with that special lady robot and shake your body down to the ground. Mm. Later, hold hands and watch the sunset together. Get into each other's control panels. Here. I lay awake yeah, yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. of my dream robot, my sexy hot Robo Babe. Heat sensors activated. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. no need to cool those sensors and lie awake no more, man. I can hook you up with Rosie the Robot from the Jetsons. Va 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 boom. Beta blocker activated. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little trade off. It looked like, say, we get you some heavy metal Rosie. And in return, you tell us what C O T C G means. Cave of the Giant Cat Monsters. Professor, why didn't you tell us you knew that in the first place so we wouldn't have to play this idiotic bribe game with this IBM reject? I didn't know that, I guess. IBM reject, determined to be human inferior computer, code red, defense mode. Oh, I showed him to one of us. Code red this. Yeah. Oh, you wasted him. I have the gate <laughs> relief. We need to save Larry from getting carroted to death. Is that even a thing? We need to look at Johnny first. There's not enough time to find Commander Rocket. We need to head straight to the cave. On the double. Come on, let's lollygag. Meanwhile, Commander Rocket is working on his own defense system. Yes, Queen Yabba Dabba D. I know marriage requires commitment. I got to be honest with you. Three strikes, I'm out. <laughs> my idea of commitment is showing up the first Thursday of the month for my bowling team. Another martini, she says, purring while she rubs his temples. Should we have lasagna or chicken cordon bleu at the reception? <laughs> Meanwhile, according to my sense of gut instincts and silly notions, that is our point of destination. Gee, look at that you! Space cave! It's only a primitive space cave. You, you, you've got to get in there and save Larry. Wait, wait, what do you mean you've got to go in there? Doctor on the double? I mean, well, if I get mauled, who would be physically able to declare you officially dead? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't know, he kind of growls on you. Uh, We 
must destroy it or perish. Hey, if only we had a giant vegematic. My parents could get me to eat carrots, not going to get eaten by one. I will use my expertise, Hooba Dooba Regan. Professor, I once forgot to bring a date to the prom. That was super awkward. Made up some story about her joining the Salvation Navy. Gentlemen, <laughs> is this really the time to discuss your failure attempts at living life? What we need now is... Oh, did I miss anything? All this running. Johnny! Johnny! What happened to you when that Space Queen makes it? Said my bowling night was out of the question. So I said... So am I. Hey, wow! Dude, we got a crazy space carrot! There's only one thing that can stop a gigantic carrot. Got an idea. Winky, activate your light beam on your helmet against that wall. Bye, Commander! Now, let's do it. It's a giant shadow bunny against the wall! <laughs> Bring a carrot to a nightlight fight. I know, silly, but heck, it worked. Let's go in and save Larry! 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 <laughs> Stop, you nutty space boy. But I didn't get all the lint from your belly button, Zila, baby. <laughs> and if I can't take care of your little belly welly, my name isn't. <laughs> Commander Rocket, Commander Planet, Professor Doc, Winky, G. I. Here we go again. Have your hands full of this belly button lint. Where do I get my hands? Hold your horses, Janet. How do we know this? Larry, isn't another clue. I can answer that one, Professor. You hate wearing underwear. Winky, you love wearing other people's underwear. Okay. Doc, you are having an affair with three nurses from the Tri-City area. Johnny, you love playing guitar. In the nude! And Janet, you love me. Larry! Let's go home so everybody will see. Larry's in town! And I love... This planet and my newly wedded wife, Zila's clone, Zila. <laughs> Sorry you missed the wedding. It was performed by... Me, Rolo the Robot. I am not only a robot. I am an Space Capalian minister. <laughs> no, Mr. Larry. You're the fish in the galaxy. Right, Johnny? Johnny? Yeah, I think he went back to the spaceship. And we better get back there before he says blast off! And so concludes the case of the missing space cadet with Johnny Rocket. Space Command. <laughs> Join us again next time for another tawdry tale of terror. Terror! Suspense! Suspense! Yeah. What do you say? And mystery. What? Are you sure? <laughs>
next month, May 9th, yes, we're going to have a special feature with the Olivier mother-daughter team. And uh, Zach Dunn over there, hello at the bar, he's usually at the bar. There he is. In the case of the action, the case of the missing taste. And so that'll be May 9th right here, second Thursday of the month, every second Thursday of the month. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Money thanks. Thanks for your generous tips. We we appreciate your tips. I said tips.